All right, this tutorial is going to show you how to create registration marks in Inkscape. I know it can be a bit of a pain, especially if you're trying to do it with the printing mark uh, function. When I try it, it crashes, but uh, here's something that's a little different, and it's much more effective, and it will be able to apply to all images, all layers in your image. You do it one time and it applies to all the layers in your image. What you're going to first need to do is uh, select all layers. The way you do that is you hold down control and you click on any layer and that will select all the layers for you. So once all your layers are selected, you go to... Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm showing you how to do that again. Alright, you hold down control and you just click on any layer and that's how, that's how you select all layers. Um, what you then do is go to extensions up on your toolbar go to extensions there we go now you can see extensions render and go to wireframe sphere you'll have a box like this what you will then do is input these specs latitude 1, longitude 2, tilt 0, rotation 0 and radius which is optional I have mine set at 20 but you can set yours at a higher radius if you like. Click apply and there you go that's what you have. You have yourself a target mark. So once you've done that you want to make sure that it's aligned. So what you do is go to object and then go to align and distribute. If you're going to do one on each corner you would have your alignment set to the corners. We're going to do ours on the top and bottom just one each so we're just going to have our centered. So there, just like that. All you, then, all you do then is you copy it and you paste it. So copy, select it first, yeah, and then copy and paste it. Bring it down to the bottom. You can do the same thing. Go to Object, Align and Distribute. and click the center one uh, unless of course you're going to do uh, one on each corner then you would select the corner ones of course um, but like I said we're just doing the center top bottom and uh, as you can see you they're, up, they're uh, visible on both layers of this image it's a quick image I threw together for this tutorial and you close the image and so it'll be present on any additional layer that you would like to add and that's all that you need to do for uh, creating registration marks I don't understand why Inkscape's printing marks are buggy but here's a workaround and here's a way to get past that So again, if you would like to increase the size of your registration mark, you would just up that radius number to 25, 30, whatever. Or, you know, a simpler way would be to just uh, lock your dimensions and just drag it to a bigger size, like that. And that's all you need to do to create registration marks in Inkscape until they find a way to uh, fix the printing mark function.